Did you know every dashboard light is a warning? Some warnings are serious, like engine trouble or a tire blowout, but how can you tell what each one means? Don't worry, I'm here to help. In this video, I'll explain the 13 most important dashboard lights and what to do when you see them. And at the end, I'll reveal the one most significant warning light most drivers ignore, leading to dangerous accidents. Let's get started. Dashboard symbols come in three colors, which tell you how serious it is. Green lights mean everything is okay. Yellow or amber lights mean there might be a small problem, but not urgent. Maybe your tire pressure is low or you need more oil, but if the red dashboard warning light appears on your cluster panel, then you must stop and fix it right away. It could be something severe like engine trouble or brake failure. Now starting with the most critical warning symbol. Number one, check engine light. The check engine light is one of the most critical warnings on your dashboard. It usually appears as an engine symbol or the words check engine. This light signals a problem with the engine or emission system. It could be minor, like a loose gas cap or serious, such as engine misfire. If the light is steady and the car runs normally, schedule a diagnostic check soon. An OBD scan will identify the issue quickly. However, if the light blinks or the car feels rough, Pull over immediately. Driving with a flashing check engine light can cause severe engine damage. Never ignore this warning. It protects both your engine and your safety. Click the link above to learn how to reset your check engine light with seven simple DIY methods. Number two, automatic emergency braking, AEB disabled light. This light means your car's automatic emergency braking system isn't working properly. It might turn on briefly if the sensors are blocked by dirt, snow, or heavy rain. That's normal. But if the light stays on in clear weather or after washing the car, the system may have a fault. A EB helps prevent crashes by stopping the car automatically. If this light stays on, get the system checked right away. It's a key part of your car's safety features. Number three, battery warning light. The battery light is easy to recognize. It looks just like a car battery. When this light turns on, it means there's a problem with the vehicle's electrical system. Don't ignore it, even if the car starts and drives as usual. The issue might not be the battery itself. It could point to a failing alternator, faulty wiring, or another electrical fault. If this light appears while driving, have the charging system inspected right away. Ignoring it can lead to a dead battery and a car that won't restart. Number four, transmission temperature light. The transmission temperature light warns that your transmission is overheating. This means the internal parts are getting too hot, which can cause serious damage. Common causes include heavy towing, low transmission fluid, or internal wear. If this light appears, pull over safely and let the vehicle cool down. Continuing to drive can lead to costly transmission failure. Check fluid levels and seek professional help immediately. Overheating shortens the life of your transmission. Number five, freezing temperature warning light. This light appears when the outside temperature drops near or below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not a fault, just a reminder that roads may be icy and slippery. The car is warning you to drive with extra caution. Cold weather can reduce tire grip and increase stopping distance. Nothing needs fixing, but smart driving matters. Slow down and stay alert in freezing conditions. Number six, coolant temperature light. The coolant temperature light means your engine is overheating. It usually looks like a thermometer floating in water. Common causes include low coolant, a faulty water pump, a leaking hose, or a damaged radiator. This is a serious warning. Driving with an overheated engine can cause permanent damage. If the light comes on, pull over immediately and turn off the engine. Let the car cool down and call for assistance. Never ignore this light, it protects your engine from severe failure. If you are enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This helps me bring you more honest car advice. Let's move on with the next warning light. Number seven, lane keep assist off light. This light means your lane keep assist system is turned off or not working. Lane keep assist uses cameras to track road lines. If you drift too close, it warns you or gently steers you back into your lane. When this light is on, the system won't help keep the car centered. Check your settings and if it's not off by choice, have it inspected. Lane keep assist adds an extra layer of safety. Make sure it's active when needed. Number eight, oil pressure warning light. 
The oil pressure light looks like an old fashioned oil can with a drip and is red. When it turns on, your engine may not be getting enough oil. This could be a simple fix, like adding more oil, but it might also mean a serious issue, such as a leak, a failing oil pump, or worn engine parts. Check your oil level right away using the dipstick. If it's low, add oil and see if the light goes off. If the light stays on, stop driving and get the car inspected. Oil is vital for engine health. Driving with low oil pressure can cause major engine damage. Act quickly to avoid expensive repairs. Number 9. Tire Pressure Warning Light the tire pressure light looks like a horseshoe with an exclamation mark. It means one or more tires are not properly inflated. Driving with low or high tire pressure can lead to poor handling, reduced fuel efficiency, or even a blowout. Many cars show the exact pressure for each tire on the dashboard or infotainment screen. If one tire is too low, stop and refill it to the recommended level. If the light stays on, the tire may be damaged or leaking. Have it inspected as soon as you can. Number 10. Washer Fluid, Door Open, Low Fuel these three lights are simple but important. Washer fluid light looks like a windshield with water spraying. It means you're low on washer fluid. While not urgent, it's a problem if your windshield gets dirty and you can't clean it. Door open light usually shows an image of a car with a door or trunk open. Just check and close all doors properly before driving. Low fuel light looks like a gas pump. It means you're nearly out of fuel. Stop at a gas station soon. Helpful tip, the little arrow next to the gas pump icon shows which side of the car you're fuel cap is on. Number 11. Traction Control and Stability Control Light this light shows a car with wavy lines underneath, warning of traction or stability issues. It usually turns on when the system is active, like during rain, snow, or slippery roads. In these cases, it means the system is working to keep the car stable and prevent sliding. However, if the light stays on during normal driving, it may signal a problem, often with a wheel speed sensor or the system itself. Some vehicles let you adjust or turn off these features in performance modes. But for everyday driving, traction and stability control are critical for safety. If this light stays on unexpectedly, have the system checked. Safe handling depends on proper traction and stability control. Number 12. Airbag Warning Light the airbag light turns on briefly when you start the car. That's normal, but if it stays on while driving, there's a problem with the airbag system. This won't affect how the car drives, but it's a serious safety concern. In a crash, the airbags may not deploy correctly, so don't ignore it completely and get it checked as soon as possible. Now we all love to talk about how quickly a car accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour, but what if a vehicle doesn't come to a quick stop even when the brakes are engaged? Here comes the most important warning symbol. Number 13. Brake System Warning Light the brake system light signals a problem with your car's braking system. It appears as an exclamation mark in a circle or says parking brake. Sometimes this light turns on if the parking brake is still engaged. Release it fully and see if the light disappears. If it stays on, the issue could be low brake fluid, worn brake pads, or a fault in the braking system. This includes the ABS, anti-lock braking system, which helps you stop safely in emergencies. While you can still drive without ABS, braking may be less effective, especially in slippery or sudden stop situations. If this light appears, check your brake fluid. If the problem isn't clear, have the system inspected immediately. Now if your dashboard is flashing any of these warnings, then this is the next video that you need to watch as we go over each of these with simple DIY fixes. Because these lights are easy to understand and just as easy to fix.